uh, let's start. Hello everyone, welcome to the show. I'm your host, Johnny Baghead, as always, and welcome back. Um, you'll probably see noticing from the way my voice sounds that <laughs> something's wrong with me. I have some sort of sore throat. Uh, not sure why. No other real uh, symptoms, really. Just my throat hurts, and I have to clear it sometimes, and it'll kind of make me cough. I wouldn't really call it like a sore cough, though, because most of the time I have to cough. It's not a cough-induced. It's more throat-induced. Um, but it's not so bad that I didn't want to stream. Plus, considering it's happened twice now where I got tonsillitis, and it stopped me from streaming for a long time. Uh, I felt really bad about that, just in general. So I don't want to miss this. And it just it just means I'm gonna probably sound more scratchy today, and I might have to try and mute myself if I have to clear my throat a couple of times. But I'll be fine, folks. Don't worry about your old Uncle Johnny. He'll he'll be fine. Ugh. It has been really cold here, but I don't really have a cold though. That's the that's the thing. I'm not like uh, bunged up or anything. Like I've got clear passageways, so it's just the throat. Uh, I do wish I had some decent cough syrup, but we don't have any right now. But I should be fine. But we're back. We're doing Mirror's Edge. I'm thinking about it. We might end up finishing it today, because we went. Because I've been, you know, once we swapped to the PC version, I've been playing better and I've been having less issues. And we're at chapter 7. I think the full game has like 11, 12 chapters? I don't remember, but I've, we're more than halfway through now that I think about it. So, we might end up finishing and then I'll probably mess around uh, in any sort of like extra stuff that's there. And then... Hmm. I used to take a break between things, but we might just start Mirror's Edge Catalyst not long after this. It's a bit of a longer game, but it's not much longer. And I think I might want to just to have everything fresh about how this game is in comparison to Catalyst to kind of talk about how much of a, a missed opportunity it is, though. I still think some people were way too negative on it. It does have things about it that are better than the original. And it has some initial ideas that if they had been kind of designed better from the front would have been better. So I still think it's an enjoyable game. But, you know, we'll, we'll get into that when we get into it. So um, here we go. We're going to swap over to this. Here we go. All right. Uh, let me look. Audio settings in this game are a little weird because though there's this master volume, uh, it doesn't actually seem to um, affect, it affects music and it will affect dialogue. It doesn't actually seem to change the volume of sound effects. But uh, I'm just looking at my audio levels. I'm, I feel I'm going to listen to my own stream for a sec. Oh, actually, I can't do that because of <laughs> all the window options with this. But it's looking okay. Uh, oh, yeah, before I start, uh, actually, hang on. Sorry, I just remembered. I tweeted about this. <laughs> uh, we got to the funny, the funny 69 number, the followers. Actually, we got more. Um, I've only mentioned this briefly, I think mainly before I start streams. Um, the analytics page on Twitch, as far as I can remember since I kind of got serious in the doing this, has always been wrong. The count's always been off by about one. Um, and I got, for some reason, four extra follows when I was offline in the past 24 hours. I'll, um, I'll read those through in a sec. But Twitch... Is still only is not counting now two of my followers. So even though my analytics page says 69, we're actually at 71 followers. <laughs> so I don't know. But I've also seen stuff that suggests that the, the viewer count 
is sometimes off. I think there's some specific viewers that I'll, I'll see chatting and reacting to what I'm doing on screen. So they can clearly see, but um, don't actually seem to appear as a viewer. I don't know. But I do want to thank, thank uh, Sakura Blossom Tea Girl, followed me 13 hours ago. Uh, Bum Bun in 1080p. Uh, Bowl Kill and Salvox One. Uh, it's always interesting to me that I get follows when I'm offline because I don't know how much uh, my content is viewed by people when I'm not live. I know the the YouTube stuff does well enough, but I don't know, for example, how much of those people just care about vods and don't feel inclined to check me out live. But still, I appreciate it, everyone. I thank you very much. Uh, I just wanted to get those there. Let's get back to the, the game here. Uh, I am going to try and fix the fact that there's um, a bit of black around it. Because the full screen options in this were kind of weird. <laughs> as, as we discussed in the last stream. But um, yeah, this is the level we left off at, the boat here. Now don't go just charging in there recklessly, kiddo. That's Pope's killer, man. Yeah, well, there might be more heat out there. It's too risky to try to get to the boat by foot. You'll be spotted. Let me see. Sure. Can I fix it? There must be some way to slip in undercover. There we go. I don't know why. You have to press it like multiple times. Yep, we're all good. Okay. So I'm I'm playing with controller, which is why we had so much issue with the mod I was using to get full screen. Let me try something very quickly, and that's the wrong button. Okay, I need to look it up. The the controls implied that there's a way to um do 90 degree turns with this button. But uh I don't know how you do that. Okay. So I'm not gonna be able to do it, but I mentioned it last time that there is a very substantial skip on this level. And I mentioned in the first stream as well, the uh, jump kick. But it turns out uh, it's a frame perfect trick. <laughs> what it is, is when you do the jump kick, there's a frame. You can kind of see it actually, where you can see there's a little hand. Uh, where the game's code makes faith. Oh stand on like an invisible platform but it is no joke it's one frame and i actually managed to do it on controller once but uh as you can see <laughs> not really um i'll try it on mouse quick but i'm not very good with mouse in this game but the idea is you do this there, like that. That's the <laughs> that's the jump kick there. Okay, that's the coil button. Ah, fucked up. Let's see if I could do it again now. But like, for example, the uh, the strafe jump. I'm not very good at doing. Oh. Even with the scroll wheel, I'm not great at <laughs> doing this trick. Uh, uh, but to be fair, I also learnt, you know, I started trying it literally a tiny bit before I went live. Um, I would prefer to have a method, though, that I could do on controller. But I basically have to have, like, a turbo button. Well... I made this jump, somehow. Okay. The reason why is because you can... Oh. Uh, there, is, there is enough way to get around that way, but let's see. I'll try it once more and then we'll just do the level proper. As you can also guess, I'm, uh... Uh, 
I'm not used to keyboard controls, so... There's that. Oh, I remember now. You have to mount. Oh. So I didn't do it. Let me try it once more, actually. I was really close. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm doing that bit wrong. Obviously. Also, I'm like not even that good at uh... As you can see, hitting that time. Oh, see, I didn't even, I didn't even hit the kick there. There we go, and there we go, okay. Okay, so you're not supposed to be able to get up here. <laughs> this is my first time up here. So the objective, we're supposed to get into this truck here, but it actually will wait for you. Uh, but what I should be able to do... Oh, never mind. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, I don't... Yeah, it didn't, it didn't checkpoint me. Okay. Now, don't go just charging in there recklessly, kiddo. That's Pope's killer, Mark. Yeah, well, there might be... Okay. <laughs> Let's try it again. There's that. There's that. <laughs> I'm getting better though, considering I'm only just trying this. Sounds like it's time for a little stowaway action face. Quick, go oh. go. Definitely messed up there. <laughs> oh, you see that though? <laughs> I managed to sidestep in the air. Because I was holding the wrong button. Oh. I haven't quite picked up on the exact moment, so I think a lot of times I'm like doing the scroll. Oh shit. Uh, I don't know what happened there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh, I fucked things up there. Okay, last try. Oh, whatever. Yeah, you know, let's just... <laughs> yeah, if you want to see that trick done properly, just go look up uh, the current uh, like full game speedrun. You actually cannot do this trick in chapter select because you... So there's some like part of the ground there you can't land on, but you can get over that fence... It's weird I missed it because there is some amount, some there is some ground there that does exist closer to the wall. But you get over the fence and you go around the side there. The end of the level is literally around this that corner there. But it's not loaded in yet. And you have to hit a checkpoint early and then like quick game, reload game. Also I did learn this. That's a quick way of getting down there. You're not supposed to be able to survive those jumps. Uh, I just want to check something, because there's a, a runner bag here. And I don't know if it's saved that I picked it up earlier. I think it did, yeah. 
but that skip allows you to skip this entire, basically this entire level, because you never go inside the boat. There is another way of getting on the roof without the kick jump, where you um, you do it from here, where you have to something like this, but you have to do the 90 degree turn so you can get on top of this air condition, this uh, you know wall unit, and get on the roof that way. And I don't actually know how you do it, so never mind. So we're gonna do this instead. <laughs> I was gonna like show it off once if I could do it. What the hell is in this boat anyway? No idea. Could be munitions, I guess. Turns out, to turns out this skip is a lot harder to do. Head straight to the deck if that's where you saw this guy. Once yeah, if I so get out fast. because that kick jump is uh it's frame perfect. Um, they you map jump to a, a second input. You map it to scroll wheel down because when you move the scroll wheel, it just infinitely like it just like every frame activates the jump uh, because it's such a specific timing. And I did do it once, but it was completely it was completely by accident. I managed to to do. The jump and also yeah this is the alignment you have to wait here for a really long time oh no Nope, not up there. Oh yeah, there's a there's a runner bag up here somewhere. Uh, hang on, just gonna turn the game audio down a bit for you guys. There we go. Trying to remember where the runner bag is up here. That's where you're supposed to go. Oh. No, I don't remember. Like I said, it, it just unlocks um, concept art, but it is a shame because it is interesting to look at. So I would have liked to have done something with it, but yeah, let's just, let's just get out of here. How am I not dying? How am I not dying? I'm dying. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna have to take guys out there. Don't really have a choice.
Ah. Okay, okay. There's no reason, but I was trying to do it without using the guns, but... That's uh, two of them. Can't, can't do it, do it. Oh, I hit that. I totally hit those counters. I think that's why I always don't like the cow to counter feels in this game. It just something feels off about the time. You know what then? Fuck it. I'm tired of doing this section. Yeah, it's just... They they did such a better job with the combat in Catalyst. That's why Catalyst, I think, is such a missed opportunity. Because there are some fundamental issues with the first game that they fixed. But... There's also stuff that I, I highly think was a limits of the engine that it couldn't do proper open world all right up we go here uh where are we supposed to go I think this is actually it. I could be wrong though. Oh no, this is. Okay, I this room must have a quicker way to get through here. Try and find a way off that level before reinforcements show up, Fake. There's got to be some way through. There we go. Yeah. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Oh, interesting. Okay. Alright, let's try again. Yeah, this, this was definitely a criticism of this game back in the days. There would be some segments like this one. Where it's just... Lying down the place of action. I don't know where I, I failed actually. Oh, yeah, it was here, wasn't it? Okay. Oh. Okay. I think I know what I'm doing wrong. Maybe the night I gotta look it up because I was really curious about that other way of getting on top of that building. And the f <laughs> this is clear for 2012. The speedrunner who does it, I can't believe this. He does the thing, and he's like, "Oh yeah, it's easy. I'm not even gonna explain how to do it." And it's not—it's not easy at all. <laughs> it's 
such a precise series of movements. I wonder if I could just... Yeah. There we go. I remember that being as awkward, though. To, to get up. Oh yeah, this bit. Yeah. Hold on, can I? Yeah. I forget how to do it. There's a way to do like two wall runs in a row. Like that. Yeah. Oh, whatever. Yeah. I do remember this though, this being one of the awkward levels. Uh. Of just there's a lot of this shimmying to the side stuff. I'll give uh, the sequel credit. I don't. How the fuck did I miss that? <laughs> I don't remember there being a lot of this kind of stuff to get around. They're a lot smarter about. There we go. I think this is the intended way we're doing it as well. One sec, I just need to check uh, Discord quickly. Okay. There we go. Sorry about that. Alright, and then for this you got to... Oh, you're fucking kidding me. Okay. At least we're still up here. Never mind. Oh. Yeah, I forgot about this. I forgot this part sucks. No wonder people fucking skip the boat. And there's some stuff coming up as well. I think this legitimately is like the worst level in the game. And I don't know why that fails sometimes. I should look up the uh, the glitchless route for the boat. Because, uh... Yeah. I'm not sure how I missed this the first time I did that jump. There we go. <laughs> There's also a glitch you can use to um, skip the opening animations here, but I, I just don't know it. Um, legitimately, the speedrunning scene for this game is nuts. The stuff you can do. Um... And I'm, I'm not going to make sure it is because it's not about Star and Drama. But I remember a video about speedrunning uh, referenced Mirror's Edge as, as one of their favourites. And they specifically mentioned of how they found the glit the any percent with glitches speedruns not that interesting. And thought that the glitchless ones were uh, more interesting because they represented like a perfect run through the game. And I just don't agree with that at all. Because the glitchless playthrough is 
not it's it's the same path you would go through the game with just very small optimizations to the path in and like because unfortunately like though there's a little bit you can do There's not a lot of um, things you can do to, um, you know, I don't remember there being explosive barrels here. Try to remember if they, that's something that's only, that, not, was it the cult of I don't know. But the glitch... The one that allows glitches is where you see the harder tricks. <laughs> you know, I think this is. Yeah, I thought it was. There must be another way of getting up here without taking the damage. It's the harder trick, it's the route that you would never typically see in a playthrough. Plus, it's usually the, uh... It's usually the, uh, the routes that you see the most changes over time. I, I did learn this from watching speedrun and stuff. That uh, that's the way to cheese this fight. Is you just do low in the two highs. <laughs> oh, thank you. Just gonna have to. <laughs> It's a smart, it's a smart way to, to try and run away. I'll tell you that for free. Like, yeah, there's little bits like that where very obviously the, 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 the van there is a fast way of getting up. But there, there's never anything where you're going on a completely different path throughout the level if you're doing glitchless. Oh, whoops. I do like this bit just for the whole fact it's like, yeah, see, this is the other side of where you start. This is kind of like a twist on on what you would normally do. You're like, you're normally the one being chased. Yeah, you see, because the AI always goes for the high kick. There we go. I'm glad I did look, I found that out, because honestly this fight sucks. Because it's supposed to be like a one-on-one -on -one fight with someone of equal ability, but just because of the way the the fighting is so awkward. Oh yeah, these are, man, the cutscenes here are way quieter than the game. That sound option is just broken. Hang on, I'm going to quickly... There we go. No. Cell? I tried to warn you off. <gasps> what a twist! Go face. Do you remember what you did with your family? The runners are screwed. Icarus is just a start. And I want to live with Faith, not just survive. <laughs> Why Pope? 
His campaign was getting unexpected support, but he got stupid. Started making threats to the wrong people. High up. Yeah, no shit. They found out about Icarus. So they had you kill him. Him or me. I don't know why this Icarus thing is like such a big deal. Of like, oh, we have to kill people to find out about Icarus. I do like this cutscene because it's both, you know, they they say canon that Faith never shoots Don't people, and sure, she doesn't shoot to kill now. there. You can't tell me she did not kill anyone doing that. Kate's just been tried. Already? Wonders of the Swift Justice Program, huh? They found her guilty face. Of course they did. Convoy's taken her off to jail in less than an hour. I think that's actually, and I'm looking at it now, I'm noticing there's a big problem with these cutscenes. Drake's organizing a rifle drop near the new CCC building. I'll keep you posted. Get going. Is, you would think, um, they would be very expressive. But I find that the animations are actually not that expressive. I think, coming up, this is actually my favorite level. This is the one I've, I've like, replayed the most. Oh, oh, <laughs> you gotta be careful there. Organizing a rifle drop the, 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 the hint button is quite useful. Oh, okay, that didn't do what I thought it was gonna do. But, uh, they're like doing quick turns. But, uh, that was a bad idea. <laughs> Oh, the runners. Who runs after the runners? Oh, oh, I screwed up there. There is a way to use that to, uh... Oh no, they're kicking me. Oh no! Oh. oh, they got me. Like, yeah, there is a lot in this area. You can see where you could go alternative ways, but you're being chased by people who have your capabilities. It's like the worst possible time to try and experiment. There we go. Oh. Oh, that was bad. I do find it funny they don't even carry guns. They just punch you to death. Oh, okay. They do have... They do have stun rods, though. Oh, that was bad. That was bad. Let's try again. I always forget I've got the slow mo that I should try and use more often when I'm in a pinch like that. I'm surprised I had trouble doing that job now. Ugh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> Funny enough, I don't remember if they follow you. Ha ha ha. 
In order to trigger the reversal, the incumbent mayor has cancelled the unveiling of the long-awaited November Rights Memorial, citing several high street credible security threats as a primary concern. The matter of security threats has lately been an important agenda item for the mayor's re-election campaign. So, assuring voters that the safety... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, okay, I'm going to have to wait. They don't give you enough time to read these very well. So, ass assuring voters that the safety of the city comes first is going to be a big part of pushing to lead the city again. Researchers at 808 claim to have developed a breakthrough thermoplastic fibre composite. Faith? It's fucking weird, isn't it? Okay. Oops. We're gonna have to relocate that drop. I'll get onto Krieg. See if you can lose him. That was dumb. <laughs> We're gonna have to relocate that drop. I'll get onto Krieg. See if you can lose him. It's slow, but we'll do it that way. Uh, that's a pro tip, though. You could use you to save time on a lot of those. Uh... There we go. I wonder if you can pick up their stunners. No. Yeah, you have to you have to fight there because this. Again, looking into the mods we looked into, I'm not surprised. Krieg's gonna drop the rifle inside the CCC building. It's around the corner. Should give you a good view of Gage Convoy. Not surprised there's a lot of mods that just delete the enemies from the game. fine. If I rolled and fell off there, I would be really upset, so. Oh, okay. Should have rolled there. What? Uh, don't think you're supposed to do that. There you go. Okay. Avian flu. Here to stay. I see reports on the troubling expansion of this deadly disease. City threat level goes to red. Mayor Callahan has raised the city threat level to red following what he terms a very credible threat. City tier levels are greater to five. Green, yellow, two to do. Uh, orange representing legitimate information to the red representing legitimate information. I'm actually trying to figure out like what a lot of that law's about. Alright, here it is. This is actually one of my favourite areas in the game. And it's got some of my favourite music as well. Like some really good lo-fi stuff. So basically the whole gimmick of this area is you just have to figure out how to get to the top. And unlike a lot of areas, instead of just always going forward, you actually have a sense of scale of where you're going and there's also like a decent amount of sandboxy design here where there's no real set way to uh get up uh okay 
Like there's a few there's a few obvious ones, but you can very easily go your own way and and do more interesting pathing and, and And I think if you play the sequel, someone who worked on on it liked this. Oh! Shit. I uh, panicked there. Oh, I'm trying, I'm trying to do that quick. That's uh, my bad. There we go. Oh, is the music not going to fix itself, though? Oh, that sucks. Oh, there it is. Just took a while. Oh, yeah, I think... So, yeah, so, because you're just constantly going up in this area, you have a real sense of where you come from. And, you know, you don't have the the pressure of being chased either, which is nice. And uh, there's a bit more puzzle going on with figuring out how to get places. But also just the way this area is designed, there's a decent amount of freedom, I feel like, to get, to uh, allow for the, the more interesting and, and crazy speedrunning strats that people use. Oh! Want to have a quick look around the side here? No, okay. <laughs> oh yeah, this is this is one of the like actually kind of scary jumps in the game here. <laughs> oh. Make that. Oh. Shit. <laughs> oh, I was doing so well there as well. Had like a really good flow. But, uh. Should be some kind of vent near you. Quick route to the sniper position. Okay. Uh, shit. Just gonna have to. Yeah. The thing is, I'm trying to wall run. And I, okay. That's why I just didn't need to. That jump looked bigger than I thought it did. Well, well fuck that up, but whatever. Oh, that's a reference to an Easter egg. I don't know if I remember how to do it. Uh, let's see if I can remember. <laughs> why? Why the? Why is this in here? Who knows? Uh, according to the concept art, the runner bags were going to be more involved in the plot, but they're pretty much, aside from the collectible, they're only involved in that uh, prologue mission. 
it's the only time you actually go on a runner mission. The rest of the game's all around this this uh this conspiracy with your sister and all that. Oh get hi. To it and get that convoy in your sights. Find a way of slowing it down. Try going for the engine. I'm gonna patch you into the CPF channel the convoy's using. Connor's convoy. What's your status? Over. Looking good. Route is clear. Oh, it's something with this. This is the only time you have to actually use a gun. There we go. There, there it is. Yeah! Uh, the reason why this easter egg exists is because um, there's a lot of trickery going on with this scene. This area isn't actually that far away. It's just everything's miniature. These are just like smaller scale versions of the objects. So that rat is to show that. Um, obviously, it's not as small as the rats normally are. But it's just to show that. That, uh, <laughs> there's a trick going on there. I'm glad I remembered how to do that, though. I can run this, but uh, I'm not risking it. <laughs> it's actually quite hard to do this without taking the guys out. You can, but uh, it's not easy. I do like the gimmick of you don't reload though. Like if you want a gun, you have to fucking go find one. Alright. 
Yeah, fire up. As soon as you get there, the level just ends. Doesn't matter if you get a shot at. Whew, there we go. I can't believe you've done all this. You're my sister. Take this. It's Merc. He's a friend. He'll guide you away from here. I'll lead the blues away. I'll come and find you later, okay? Let's do it uh, just right here. But yeah, one thing I do like about the, the sequel is there's a lot of uh, segments like that one where the puzzle is oh here's this like long tall area and you have to figure out how to get to the top oh god oh. mark i couldn't stop them they took me <coughs> i got some of the bastards though where'd they go Shard. The mayor's place? <coughs> yeah. Shit, Mark. Let me get someone, a doctor. It ain't gonna happen to me. Because I'm nebulously injured in some so way. No, no sorries. Just don't let them win. I won't. You can see this is definitely of like story cuts because you get here and it's like, oh yeah, she's gone and you don't see how and there's no explanation for how they got caught. Uh, you know what though? I feel like the shard might be the final level. We might be done with this a lot quicker than I thought. <laughs> I love that building though. Like imagine. Imagine if people were allowed to make buildings look like that in real life. The structural integrity of that thing must be <laughs> must be out of zero. <laughs> up the easy jumps again. There we go. Yeah, the I the thing I'm gonna say though is I don't remember the second one having a bad soundtrack, but I don't remember it as much as this one bag around here somewhere. There's a uh, whiteness in there. <laughs> alright, alright, let's have a... Let's see around. Where would it be? This is kind of a weird bit from what I remember, but uh, I'll just let this play out. Blow that up. <laughs> well, 
there's a run of guys around. I'm not sure where it is. Oh well. I did that my own time. Keep again. Those uh, armor guys suck. Outside of doing the counter against them, they're pretty rough. There we go. Yeah, there's a story. Security firm Carandello Kruger have been authorized to draft in more units until eight tires have been secured. <laughs> it is believed that Connors may have been helped by the fugitive <laughs> Good job, Faith. Good work. Check her. Oh god, he's glitching out. Gonna shoot me too? No. Right now, you're Kate's best hope. Weren't these your guys? No, they're PKs. Carandella crew. Private security. What's going on, Miller? Pope's murder. Turns out there was a man on the inside. Rope run? Yes. You were right about him. I tried to get answers myself. But why Kate? They needed a CPF cop to look like Pope's killer. No time to explain more. Take this comms unit and head for the roof. It's where <laughs> it's, it's not Contact much to it. Safe. I'll hold them off. The roof. Go. Like it, it, you shouldn't even have to ask. It's quite obvious that it's so that um, they can use. You know, they can and get their uh, private PMC people to replace the police or something. You know, oh, police corruption and all that. Something. Oh, nah, never mind. I haven't done it, but there's a way. there for a sec. But it's a bit of a confusing storyline because uh, Pope was like the anti uh, authoritarian politician. But they wanted like uh, the police somehow framed. There's some implication of like trying to replace the police force, but it's a bit confused because like police are typically, uh, <laughs> oh, maybe I shouldn't say, but you know, like supported by this kind of political leaning. <laughs> a bit slow on that, but uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, you know. Oh. Heard them say you're in the elevator shaft. Listen, there should be an entrance to the ventilation system somewhere in there. It'll take you outside, but you should. <laughs> Whoops. 
Oh, that's the gun. I'm trying to remember if there was an easier way. Cause going downwards is usually not that fun in this game, I will say that. Like trying to judge jumps when you have to do stuff like that. Let's see, let's see. There we go. I feel like there's an easier way of getting down there though. I don't know. Balancing act, there we go. Uh, I do find this section a, a kind of funny because you know it's, it's called the shard and all that, um, and parts of it end up, you know, like the outside of it, and also some the inside ends up looking really familiar to uh to Half-Life 2's Citadel like there's some stuff coming up especially where it really reminds me of that like here you start to get to some like really kind of that more abstracty purely mechanical design Don't even know I fell in there. It is qu it is quite dark in here. Uh. Whoops! Should have yeah. Oh, I swear you could probably make that. Let's just... Huh. Okay, let's just do this. I think there's a more elegant way of uh, getting through there. <laughs> but we did it. Whatever works, you know. I forgot the music in this level pretty good as well. Definitely very final act kind of feeling to it. Yeah, I think they had a different composer for the second game. I see you now. There's a sniper team guarding this area. You can get back in on the other side. Be careful, babe. <laughs> oh my dear. Okay, focus up. That was not the right thing to do. Remember to be quite a long level actually, this one. Just 
Let's uh, play it safe. We'll get our health back here. Snipers are very easy to counter, to be fair. So. Oh. Oh, I missed that. Oh. Oh, no. No checkpoint. Okay. Makes sense, though, but still. I feel like there has to be a smoother way to uh, get around that. Okay. Yeah, this, this route was fine. There we go. Oh. There's an elevator ahead. I've managed to unlock it. Take it to the server room. You should be able to get to the top. Ah, oh, here we go. This is like the last big encounter of the game from what I remember. Oh, okay. If you're trying to uh, no gun uh, your playthrough, this is the really rough bit from what I remember. Um, we'll see though. If you try to take all the guards out here, it definitely is. Hard mode especially. Hard mode, this bit sucks. Because I actually did. I've, I've got the uh, on PlayStation 3. I've got the trophy for... What is Gunga? So it's not really explained very well, but that is the way you get through this area. is you just have to shoot these servers. Yeah, that door opens for some reason when you shoot all the servers. <laughs> they don't really explain it, but that's just how it works, I guess. All right, here we go. We're at the roof. I do like the amount of color change you get in that area as well. Definitely feels, you know, like they're try to make it you know as opposed to it being kind of based on the chapter it changes oh, rapidly geez. like a lot happens you like that, so why well that's exactly why i could who's behind this 
Let's just say I know who the bigger fish are. Oh yeah, I don't think it ever Callahan. explains who's behind the whole thing. Probably Callahan, oh, but we're no threat. Classic warfare. Break the lines of communication. Shoot the messengers. Without hope. And without the runners. Your clients. Those who just won't let go of the old city will be cut off. Vulnerable. And this city can clean up the last of its dregs. So this is just the start. I prefer to think of it as an end. Still, you did a remarkably good job of coaxing out all those loose ends surrounding Pope's demise. It's why you're still alive. Oh, you get it. By the way, it makes no sense here that you're able to run away and survive here. Like, you should just be dead now. Ah. Whee! <laughs> Why did you leave the fucking doors open? You goober. <laughs> no wonder. No wonder you got kicked out of a helicopter. Alright, there it is. Here's the song. I always remember this being really funny because this came out a year after <laughs> Portal 1 and they both have an end credit song called Still Alive. Honestly, like, sounds very different. Uh, but what I find funny is that's the end of the story. There we go. Like, How's that the end? You've got to get off of this fucking building. You didn't, you know, you didn't prove Kate's innocence. You didn't stop anything. <laughs> you could really tell they ran out of a lot of time and budget got cut and they were just kind of like, yeah, we'll just finish things here. <laughs> oh, well. Uh, getting really loud here. Because I'm gonna turn it down for the credits. There we go. But, um, there we go. Yeah, it's definitely a short game. But, no, straight up, this is one of my favourite non conventional games of, this gen of that generation. I always forget what the name of that generation is. It's either the seventh or the eighth generation, but I think it's sen seventh gen? Or maybe it's sick. Let me see, it's like... Atari Trick 2600 is first, I think. NES is second. Super is third. Okay, sixth. It's sixth gen, yeah. I think eighth gen is where we are now. Eighth or ninth. But this is... Such an interesting game to come out of a company like DICE and... Uh, EA and you would you just wouldn't see something like this anymore it's just a shame that because clearly EA didn't put like the full force of dice behind this and maybe you couldn't but you know a lot of the way the game's made you can see where there's cuts and unfinished stuff Apparently the, there's there's mods out there that basically fix the ending to what was what um, people who were involved said it was supposed to be. Because yeah, they say like writer and co-story is Rihanna Pratchett, but from what she said, uh, most of the story she wrote isn't even in the game, so it's a bit <laughs> it's a bit um, inaccurate to, to call her like the story writer. But it is still a really cool game. Um, if you're going to play it yourself, PC is the way to go, even with the issues I've had. 
just the game feels so much better, you know, running at 60 FPS. It's just a shame that they didn't. You know. Oh. Okay, uh, so they were able to get off of that building, I guess. But that really does not add much to the story, that extra bit of dialogue there, does it? <laughs> but yeah, aside from those issues with the story, like as an actual game, it is really interesting. But yeah, if you're ever going to play this game, play on easy. Don't worry about playing on normal and hard, because the combat just... It's just, even, like, you saw when I did that, uh, the boss fight against, um, Cell, it's, the best method is just to kind of cheese the combat, because if you try and, try and play it how it's intended, it's just, it feels awkward, there's not really enough assists. Doing, com you know, like, non-gunplay -gun in first person is already not easy. So to try and do this whole hand-to-hand -hand system. Like, it's good they kept it simple, but... Especially because you're having to deal with um, enemies that can shoot you and, and things like that. But yeah. And... Uh, so I think this ends up... This is a cult classic, because I don't think it sold amazing. I could be wrong about that, but I don't think it sold... I think it. I think it might have made its money back because it it was clearly made on the cheap. But that's part of the reason why it took so long for a sequel to come out for this. But the main reason that EA cites, and I think even Dice said this, which I think just upset fans, is they came out and they said like, "Oh, it's taken us a while because we don't really know what to do. We can't decide on if we want it to be open world or linear." And a lot of stuff like that. Which is like, I don't think it was that hard to decide. I don't know why they had issue, but we'll, you know, we'll see. When we go over to Mirza's Catalyst, and I'll tell you that now, and I don't blame them, but considering that the end of this is a cliffhanger, it's kind of a bummer that, uh, oh, I'm sure I'm a master. Ooh. that uh, the sequel was a reboot. They just completely rebooted the story. Again, probably smart in the long term, but it, it kind of makes it feel like, oh, that's a shame. You don't really get to find out what happened from here onwards. Because that radio thing basically makes it sound like the plan of, like, getting the, um, the PMC, like, overtaking the police force and shutting down the sending voices. It just seems like they uh, succeeded, really. Pretty much the only thing you kind of did was, you know, fuck, you fucked up the, the servers for the surveillance system, temporarily. Yeah. The story stuff is a shame, because the setting is, is so interesting to do this cyberpunk style, but instead of outwardly making the world look run down, they used, you know, they, it's, it's got this, like, cleaned look. So, what else can we do? Um, what have we done? This is unfortunate. Um, yeah, so the speedrun modes here. Uh, all the server stuff's gone offline now, which is a shame, because I think you were able to watch 
here, like if I leave it to load, you're able to watch people's ghosts um, of their best runs, and obviously EA's taken the servers offline. I said this, you know, what was it, like a year or two ago, uh, during the scuff era. Yep. I still believe this. I think, because if you, here's the unfortunate thing about corporations like this. If you don't put a rule in place like this, um, they never would. They wouldn't do this. Uh, I think if a company is going to drop support for their online features of a game like this, or just in general, like if it's a software or some sort of server they host that you need to access features, I feel like they should be obligated of, if you're going to shut it down, then you have to put that, you have to make it open source. You have to put the tools out there for enthusiasts to keep it going. Uh, instead of people having to fucking reverse engineer shit and all the, the wacky stuff people have done. Um, but, yeah, the unlockables here. You can listen to the music. No, I don't think I have it all here. Um, there's the cutscenes. No strap movie. But here's the, the concept art. But it won't all be here because this is tied to the runner bags. But you can kind of see faith changing over time. It makes sense. If you look in this design here, the main thing they changed is, you know, her ankle fins are tied. I think aesthetically it looks better without, but it makes sense because you need that if you're running all the time. And then this is just all their different uh, posters and things like that. And yeah, all their concept art for the art style. But this is this stuff here is where it kind of feels like at some point there was going to be, based on this concept, because this is drawn, this is not rendered, but this looks like maybe at some point they were planning on having the gameplay be a bit more open. Uh, yeah, I don't know if this is all unlocked. But I think this is interesting because this is where you could kind of see like the final concept for characters versus their concept art most of the characters were a lot more interesting in their concept art they're the, they're the same but yeah like jackknife looks completely different here i kind of wish he kept this look i think it would have kept his like douchebag kind of personality better but uh i get the feeling that uh that engine was like, oh, we can't do long hair and it look right. Uh, I like the the versions of Miller because it's like, oh, I wonder, I wonder who they were basing him off of. <laughs> oh, I wonder with this green tint background. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know why's my, my mouse reappeared. Okay. Uh, here's rope burn. You get to see him in his undies. A bit weird. There's the pursuit cops. There's just some generic runners that didn't make it in. It's kind of funny this because you only see this in cutscenes. That. There's the runner bags trying to show off like how they work. Ah, huh, interesting. So rope burn was gonna mess with you. Yeah, the training facility. And these are just some, like, weird stuff like that. So, the only other things kind of to show off now is this is the only other gameplay. Funny enough, I'm looking at this now. I think the DLC, the console got DLC. I don't think it came out for PC. At least I'm looking at it. Let me see. But, uh, this is really where, kind of, you start to pick up on a lot of the speed rally tech. Because they actually do have splits here and, and shit like that. Uh, 
Yep, yep. Oh no. And yeah, you could have a ghost appear to show like the best time, kind of like within your skill range. Uh, unfortunately, that's all gone now. So, uh, we don't get to see it. But I think the pure time trials aren't in this. Okay, at least that loads really quick. And yeah, this is this is cool because this is the only mode where you get to see like the speedometer and get an idea of uh, like how stuff slows you down and what gives you a speed boost. And plus, this is also they do do some like interesting things. With the uh, the path in of like, oh, this is different ways to get around these levels, even. And you know, you have the. Oh, I don't know why my 180 turn didn't work there. Oh, I've gone the wrong way. Okay, let me try this one a few times. But there is actually a lot to unlock here. And I think this was a good showing of... They could have done some more open-ended gameplay in the story. You know, sandbox stuff. But the ghosts are... Oh, I hit the fence there. Well, also, like, a great way of figuring out, like, oh, these are the ways you can get around. I think you could even have ghosts... Oh, shit. I think you could even have ghosts... Oh, why can't I do it now? Maybe I need to, like... Uh, I don't know. We'll try again. That was bad, but whatever. I don't think I ever got amazing at these. Case in point. <laughs> there we go. I don't think this is even the, far, the, the way you're supposed to do this, but whatever. There we go. That's not that bad for my first try. Look at that two star. There we go. But I think if I, if I show this off, you should see my ghost now. But yeah, you, you do get splits. Yeah, there's my ghost. And it's... They must have got an idea early on that speedrunners were going to be into these games. Ugh. 
at that doing better already. There we go. So even after you beat the game, if you really want to, you can go through all these. And, uh... Look at that. So I did do that over the section a little faster once. <laughs> because I jumped early. But, uh... Yeah. You can see there's, there's all these to unlock. Mostly you just need to qualify in time. I don't think there's anything tied to how many stars you get on these. But if I if I go to this one, you get to see kind of interesting routes they build into the uh, the pre-existing levels. But I, it's a shame all the leaderboard stuff is offline because I'm pretty sure. You were able to watch other people's replays and ghosts. And that's where you could see some like the really wacky stuff people were able to do. Plus, <laughs> so far this is about the same route you you would have done. Oh, there we go. Oh man, you could have done that way better. What was the free star timer for that? Let's see. Uh Oh wow, yeah, like ten seconds faster. Uh We'll do a couple of these and then uh it'll be a short stream but we'll we'll end early. Screwed up there. Okay. There. I knew you could get over that. Okay. Oh. Okay. I, f I <laughs> messed up there. I think, because some of these time trials do actually take you through very different routes. Like so far, we're, we're, this is basically what you would do in the campaign. Oh, that was uh, bad. Huh, okay. I think those are like the part-time splits. So that's why it's saying like plus. Yeah, that's not the way to do that. <laughs> it 
There's a lot I could be doing to, to optimize my speed though. Because there's buddy hopping is a thing you can do. Oh. Damn, I was going for a wall run there. I don't know why I missed that. Uh, something I did find interesting though is um, when I was looking up stuff that's just explaining how some of the speedrun tricks are done. That there actually are console specific leaderboards for this game. Which I thought was really interesting that, you know, don't use. a lot of the tricks that would essentially be uh, PC only Okay, I bet I'm gonna jump for the higher bit there then. I'm pretty sure you can make that jump for the lower area, but I'm tired of messing it up. I feel like there must be a smoother way to, to get around there. Oh, messed that up. Ah, oh, almost two starred that. Try to move there's some like really interesting ones in this. Uh, let's try this one. Set. <laughs> Straight up, I know from watching speedrun stuff, a lot of these sections where they kind of tell you, oh, you should uh, slide under. It's pretty much always slower to slide under. As I mentioned, oh, oh, well, that's bad. Uh, you do actually get up quicker if you land on your back there. So any of those like cushion jumps, if you can, you should do them that way. Oh, nice. Hey, look at that. <laughs> oh, no. Try to remember these are like really interesting. Let's try cranes too. Oh, that was bad. Huh. Okay, there must be a... Uh proper way of doing that. Oh, 
Well, fuck that up. I don't know how good... I've always wanted to try speedrunning stuff. But I don't know how good I would ever be at it. I feel like I might have a... Uh, a chance. Having an interest in music and things like that. Makes me think... You know, you have to remember a song. But also... Music... You know, I should stop doing that jump. I don't think that's the best way to, to do that bit anyway. Oh, there you go. That's a lot better. How are you supposed to get back out over there? Yeah, look how fast you go doing that sidestep. Oh, no. Yeah, see, if you watch the, the speedometer there, that's a good show of how much speed you actually lose. I will say, aside from that early bit, this is quite a straightforward... Uh... Oh, no. This is quite a straightforward one, though that bit there I was a bit confused with. But yeah, if you wanna... Oh, did that one. Probably go to like speedrun.com and look up the leaderboards for all the time trials. That's probably where the like the really goofy, crazy times are. Oh. There we go. Not too bad. This bit I'm a bit confused about. Oh no, okay. Not as weird as I thought it was. Oh, what a weird fucking restart though. Okay, there must be a, yeah look. Really fucked up my time there. I wonder how you're supposed to do that. It's the unfortunate thing about not being able to look up the uh, leaderboard ghost now. You used to be able to watch these. But uh, yeah, there's that. And then this is literally just, uh, you know, they put a speed run mode into the 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 story missions here oh your boy how's it going yeah it's going good just 
showing us the random post-game stuff of uh, Mirror's Edge. Because uh, we're actually basically done. This is the fastest way to go, but uh Oh How quick does it let you restart here? Okay, not bad. There's definitely a, a faster route there, though. Well, like I said, we're done. We finished the game. Uh, so I'm just messing around with some post-game stuff just to kind of show what other features there are. Nice work, Faith. You're making good time. Celeste's almost there. Just keep heading towards the comms tower. Give her the bag and she'll take it from there. Okay, good. That's the faster of the two. Oh yeah, and as you can tell, I forgot to say this actually. I did just get reminded of something. Sounds like some blues are headed your way. News chopper tipped them off. There we go. And, uh, we don't have the physics turned on. I looked it up. Uh, if you don't have an NVIDIA graphics card, and uh, I have a, an AMD system, um, that it tries to run all the effects off the CPU and for some reason the, the glass uh, breaking effect is the one that freaks everything out apparently it was like one of the earliest forms of physics so that's why it's uh, got issues like that because I did test, it doesn't matter how many uh, NPCs are around, it is just... It is just the uh, glass breaking that causes it. There we go. I'll try and remember if there's anything. No. But. It is awesome they put these in. Oh man, look at that level. The Jack Knight level is, is long. Huh. That's longer than the Shard. Uh, I can't remember though if that's. Because uh, there's also the chapter select here. This kind of shows you, like, the man, what this game could have been if it's open world. Because they actually apparently planned out what the city would look like. Because, look, they they freaking have this entire map of, like, where every location is relative to each other. In this kind of, like, fakey New York looking thing. But uh, I think we're done. F yeah. We're done for now. Oh, <sighs> oh excuse me. That's fine. Uh, oh yeah, I need to... Yeah, there we go. With my uh, throat being sore, I'm, 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 gl I'm fine with this being a shorter stream today. Because uh, I need to rest my uh, voice now. Oh. <laughs> I'm kind of curious to look back at the mod and see how I sound. Because how you hear yourself in your, in your ears versus how it actually sounds when it comes out. Very, very different. <laughs> but there you go. Um, I will say this is a cheap game to pick up. It's um, regular price on PC now seems to be eighteen pounds. Uh, I think in dollars that's probably like twenty to twenty-two, somewhere between there. Um, but obviously, if it's ever on sale, 
I would recommend uh, getting this. I will say, um, I am going to look into the mods. If I go, because I did bookmark it, into some of the modding that people have done. Uh... Oh yeah, there's concept art of a prison that isn't in the game. Someone made a custom level of that. There's a lot of like custom maps that people have done. Uh, lighting overhaul, custom content. Uh, there's also somewhere in here. There's like open world ones as well. I'm just looking through like the mod DP page. There's also multiplayer apparently. I don't know how it works, but there's a mod. Oh yeah, there's the cut ending recreation mod. It's a bit. It's a bit weird how it's uh, laid out on a uh, mod DB. Like some of them are in the add-ons page. I think the one I wanted to check out though is there was an open world one. Where is it? Let me look it up. Oh, and I'm... I thought it was on this page. Hang on. <coughs> I don't think it's in the file section, is it? Yeah, the, the mod DP page is kind of a bit of a mess of where people put stuff. But the one I was really, what was it called? Uh, let's see. But yeah, there's a lot of custom stuff here. Yeah, there's a freedom map. Is that the one I'm thinking of? That might be it. I need to look through this again. I'm not sure when we would check this out. But... Um, we'll check that out another time, probably after we're done with, uh, we're done with, um, Catalyst, but, yeah, the plan next is we'll do Catalyst, and I think I'm not going to take a break, we're just kind of, after whatever I stream next, I'll probably, we'll do more Res Evil DS, we'll start with Catalyst, I do need to install it and double check that it does run at 60 on console, but I, unlike before, I'm pretty sure it does. And that's what I was thinking of instead of this one. And um, though the PC version I could probably get looking nicer, there is a ton of like online connection required um, DRM shit in the PC version of Catalyst and you have to sign up for EA Origin and I'd have to buy it anyway so I'd rather just not have to buy it. <laughs> but look forward to that. Also, um, because it's, you know, it's not the same, but it's got a lot of, like, 
parkour free running stuff in it for a very long time i've been meaning to check out the the prince persia games because i never played them back in the day specifically the ubisoft uh action platformer ones they were doing uh fifth gen on playstation 2 and multi-platform because i have them all on xbox and they're all backwards compatible with xbox one i believe or at least the first one is but i think the other two are as well and i actually looked up that's the those are the better versions to play over there was a hd trilogy on ps3 um but it seems to be a not great port it has like lower sound quality than the ps2 version did and a bunch of glitches and stuff like that so i gotta think of that i might do that soon actually this has put me in the like unconventional platformer mood like 3d platformer mood but yeah um you know like as i'm ill i'm probably well it's just my throat but i'm gonna take it easy i probably won't do that full stream this week we'll figure out what day i'm gonna do that so next stream will be thursday gonna do more of resident evil ds rebirth mode which i've got to remember i need to mess around with that maybe to make the touch screen stuff a little easier to do on controller and also i need to make sure i've got a microphone being hooked up i know i do have something but i'd like to have it hooked up to it my actual mic in but we'll see uh but yeah thank you again anyone who watched thank you for anyone uh watching on the bod channel yeah mirror's edge is your thing uh look forward to catalyst because catalyst i probably have more to say about just because it's fascinating like what they ea tried to do following this game and probably what they did to kill the series i don't know if we're ever gonna get another mirror's edge game now <laughs> uh but there are a lot of you know like fan tributes out there or or games that took what mirror's edge one did and, and incorporated them that uh i'll probably have to stream at some point because they're cool but thank you for coming i was your host johnny baghead as always and uh gotta, i I gotta find like a nice warm honey drink i can have to help with my throat so um yeah have a good evening everyone <laughs>